Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Matt. We are on the bike, as you can see again, and today we're gonna check out one of Japan's most coolest variety stores. I don't know what else to call it. It's a variety store. It's, I guess, the Walmart of Japan. NANI? It's just like Walmart in the fact that they sell everything. We're gonna check out one of Japan's coolest variety stores. They are all over Japan, Don Quixote. If you can see it, here's my view right now. Amazing view. And we are going, actually, you, I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't even know if I'm pointing at it. I can't, uh, I think it's, where am I? That one? Yeah, I think it's that black building there. We're gonna ride our bike all the way down this path, down in through the neighborhood to that black building that's really far out there, somewhere over there. Don Quixote, one of Japan's coolest variety stores. Let's go check it out. I'm spitting, I'm spitting all over the camera. All right, let's go check it out. There it is. Don Quixote! His name's Dol. I never even noticed that. How cute! Oh my gosh, it's a windy day. Guys, you saw me up on that hill. I think like way over there. And it was really... Oh, I have helmet hair. Far away. I got here in like probably a little over five minutes. I just flew down the hill. I'm not looking forward to biking back up the hill. It's probably gonna take me a half hour to get back up. So Don Quixote has a lot of vending machines. I mean, everywhere in Japan, there's a lot of vending machines, but Don Quixote has a lot. When you walk in, we have bikes. We have restaurants, actually. It's a ramen place. Oh, we have a pet store. One Nabu. So, one love. That's actually a play on words because dogs in Japan, they don't bark. They say one, 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 one. So it's one love. <laughs> We're not even in the store yet, guys, and there's all kinds of snacks. There's a pet store, there's a ramen shop, there's food places, and of course, there's a bunch of arcade machines. I'm telling you, these claw machines in Japan are unreal. Look at... You can get a poop emoji. Also, before we enter the store, there's a Quickly, which is the first boba place I've ever been to. There's a coin laundry, a massage place, an iPhone case store, specifically for iPhone. All right, so let's go into the store. Donkey, donkey, hotel. This store has so much variety that I just can't do it justice. This place is like a maze. It's insane how confusing, zigzaggy this place is. In America, this would definitely be like a fire hazard or something. This store is super confusing. They literally sell just all kinds of random things. It's a really cool variety store. <laughs> They do have some cool looking shoes, but I wear a size 12 and I can't find anything higher than like a size 10 in Japan. Oh, these are awesome sandals actually. Say Okinawa, this one says Japan. Actually, these are really high quality. What the hell? This is a crock. I do need some new sunglasses, I think. We have jewelry, nice watches. Wow, that's an Armani watch. This stuff is not sold at Walmart. They actually sell Ray-Bans, ties, wallets. 250 bucks for that wallet. Based on my Google Analytics, only 30% of you are women. Most of you are guys that are watching. But here we go anyway. I'm gonna walk through some of the lady stuff for you 30% of women out there. They have high heels. 
uh, that are actually kind of ugly, and I'm sure you guys would agree. Girls, sorry. I'm sure you girls would agree. All these high heels, they have fake eyelashes, all kinds of lashes. A lot of fake stuff is very popular in Asia. More so Korea, but Japan too gets on it. They got the fake eyelashes, they do the plastic surgery, all kinds of things. It's like Beverly Hills out here, except everyone's doing it, not just Beverly Hills. Also, we have very pretty earrings, and uh, they're actually the cheap ones, and the reason I know this is because they're allowing me to touch them. All right, so let's move around the corner here hit with a very strong smell oh we're in the perfume section here's a little car white musk car freshener that actually smells pretty good all these car fresheners here this is amazing oh look they actually sell fancy wines here damn that one's 300 400 500 dollars oh this is also the tobacco and the vape pens and stuff we're in the adult section i guess vape pens and alcohol what more can an adult want well i guess there still is one more thing so this is kind of weird guys, these are cable bites. Uh, I guess, oh they're for the end of your cable because they always rip. This is Luffy from One Piece biting your phone, that's how it works. And this is, oh Piccolo, Dragon Ball Z, all kinds of cute stuff, Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan. They're literally just little characters that bite your phone, you put them on the end of your cable. Oh wow, they have a lot. Everything you need for your phone is here guys, pop socket type stuff, little rings with tassels, we got all kinds of charges cables, four prong, four USB ports, extra USB ports, all kinds of things. This AC charger is actually clear. They have just the craziest shit in here. They have, wow, big batteries to charge your phone, huh? 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 What the hell is that? Is that a rope for your butt? Oh no, it's a shaver. We got hair care, hair straighteners, refrigerators, washers and dryers. By the way, this is a washer and a dryer in one. The only thing that's missing, guys, is being able to fold the clothes. But I have faith in Japan. I think they'll be first. Kitchen appliances, the rice cookers, bigger rice cookers, Japanese stove. And if you want to see how this works, just go ahead and check out my like, Japanese electronics store video. Look at, they have all these masks, these face masks for Halloween. You can be an onigiri. And apparently there's another entrance to this section, so uh, we'll just walk the other way. The 18 and over section is literally hidden right inside the toy section for children. <laughs> Guys, I didn't know they had these here, but I'm so glad they do. These are those figurines that we saw in the nerd store of my tour in the Sané Mall, trying the first Panda Express. You know the video, I'll reference it up here. These are the nerd things, they have them in this store, and I bet you they're probably cheaper than that specialty store. Actually, it kind of looks like they're not, but still, it's cool that they have them. Guys, the placements of the things in these stores is unreal. I'm literally in the kids' toys right behind this this wall is the 18 and over section and right down this aisle are these freaking guns I mean come on guys in the kids section Alright, we're in uh, sort of a computer section, I guess. This is uh, printery, and we have mice for computers, burnable Blu-ray discs. Oh, they uh, also sell TVs. I love this about Japan, and like almost every store that sells headphones, they have every single one displayed for you to try out. The only problem is they have these plugs, and if you have a newer phone, you can't even test them. Game consoles, Nintendo Switch, 4K cameras, digital cameras, GoPros, Blu-ray players, we have Bluetooth speakers, DVDs, YouTuber ranking. Interesting. Huh. Oh, playlist, top music playlist of YouTube. That's crazy. Routers. There's a lot of stuff here to modify your car, guys. Here's all kinds of smelly things, expansion things, solar-powered ashtrays. They're solar-powered because they have a light inside of them so you can see where you're dashing your ash. You know what I mean? Car fresheners as well. They have testers. These you literally set in your car. They're in like glass bottles, like little perfume bottles. Ooh, white musk. 
It smells great. The smells in Japan are unreal. They smell so much different. I don't know how to smell it. It's like a very Japanese smelling thing. I know that doesn't help you, but I'm not here to describe to you the smells of Japan. You'll just have to you just have to come here yourself. Guys, we have little skateboards, mini skateboards. Oh, these things, what the hell are these? These are super popular in Japan. I mean, we have them in America too, but literally all the kids ride these things. They're like the skateboard with like the two wheels and like the middle spins or something. Like, I don't know how they work. I can't even stand on them. All kinds of scuba gear because we're on a tropical island right now. Fireworks, oh, they're actually selling fireworks. They do have a 4th of July here, but they don't celebrate it. And there's two bulls fighting because of Don Quixote, the story. Something about bulls and a windmill or something. I don't know too much about it. So we're in the grocery section. Right here is a tea aisle. So we have teas to drink. Here's all the groceries, all these aisles. We're literally in a grocery store. It'll take forever, but I'll try and show you just some of the stuff. So these are instant noodle stuff, which of course you'd expect to see in Japan, but they have a lot of them. A lot of drinks, beer, regular groceries like onions, carrots, potatoes, all kinds of vegetables. I think they have a leak in this store. Oh, here it is, found the leak. So behind me we have, of course, meat. Guys, walking around this store, all this food looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a drink and just a quick meal. I'll catch up with you in a second. super windy right now. So guys, that was Don Quixote, the Japanese variety store. You'll notice if you ever see pictures of a city in Japan, you may notice this symbol, this Don Quixote symbol. They are all over Japan, very popular store. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna know more about Japan, go ahead and subscribe to me down below because I'm gonna be doing all kinds of content. Anything that's interesting from an American's perspective or from just a foreigner's perspective in this country. Everything I'm doing video on is at least remotely interesting, at least to me, hopefully. So hopefully it'll be interesting to you too. So go ahead and subscribe down below. If you liked the video, go ahead and thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to eat my food now, so I will see you in the next video.